this exercise is to sort of bring together two worlds, the indigenous people and settler um, people or settler heritage, and to kind of acknowledge the sort of history or what I've called it for the purpose of this exercise is like the baggage, that mental and spiritual, emotional and physical baggage that we all carry into relationships. We each bring things to relationships and these alliances are very important relationships that we have to build with each other if we are ever to achieve reconciliation. This exercise just highlights for us what it is we're bringing to these relationships. And it's not to, to say that it's good or bad, it's just to acknowledge that this is what we're bringing and how those, that baggage affects those relationships. We carry a lot of anger and it's because of the injustices that we have suffered at the hands of colonization. But with that anger, we also have a huge capacity to love and forgive. Um, so that's what the heart is about. We, just, uh, we didn't use words, love and forgiveness, but we do have that capacity within us. We have heavy hearts. Like with all that we've had to endure, we do come into relationships with heavy hearts. We support the idea of reconciliation. Even having gone through what we've gone through. We want to help, but we have lack of knowledge. We have, we come with our biases about racial discrimination. We have fear, but our fear is loss of land. We not giving it back. Willful appropriation and willful blindness. So we, I think willful appropriation is not that broad because we, we acknowledge cultural appropriation there of all, all aspects that we know of, of cultural appropriation. We do know that we are making mistakes um, and that will, I think we've discussed that that will always happen, but we need to make them we may be walking on eggshells, but we do need to make them to move forward. I was when I was looking at the two charts. Oh, this one's it's, it's all about the words. It's you know what I mean, and it's, it's almost a little individualism, and it's it's, a, it's it's about concepts. And I found that our chart, interestingly, has a lot of emotion. How many situations is there when we are reopening our own rooms and coming to this table? Um, you know, how far is too far or, you know, within education, not even educating people, but educating ourselves, and that ties into work. It is an emotional thing because a lot of us, this is like our, like a day-to-day, -day, 24 hours, this is all what we're thinking. And also like this other group too, like that's what everybody's like, whether it's consciously like expressing it or subconsciously and seeing it somewhere presented and then being like oh i forgot about that i really appreciate all of you coming and talking about this today because i know it's not easy i mean the non-indigenous folks have to deal with the guilt and the you know whatever you're dealing with whatever feelings you're dealing with at the moment and i know um, as an Indigenous person, there is, you know, that overwhelming feeling, right? And it's, it's not an easy exercise, but I think it's a very important exercise. So thank you. I learned that we as people are bringing so much more to our relationships than we even thought about before. I not only learned a lot about myself, in my positionality in post-secondary, but I learned how as a collective, working together in a classroom can be hard. And I feel like we need to navigate these relationships and our alliances in the right way and meaningfully. We as two groups that are self-aware, that understand each other's history and be able to like move on from that, but still be aware of that this is gonna have 
an impact on how you go through with life. To understand is to be able to accept. And when we, when we look at what another person is bringing to a relationship, we then can, can see the world a little more from their perspective. And I think that's a really important place to be able to see each other's point of view.